Two of the 10 barges that came loose yesterday are still in the Ohio River. One of them has 1400 tons of methanol inside. WDRB's Christy Batista is near the McAlpin Dam and explains why crews are waiting to remove the last barges. Christy. Fallon, we're actually across the river to give you a better glimpse of these barges. As we take a look here and zoom in, you can see just how fast that current is. Officials are saying that is exactly why those barges are still in the water. Our crew captured video of the third barge being removed just before one o'clock this afternoon. One of the barges that still remains is the one carrying methanol. More than 80 air quality samples have been taken so far and officials say no evidence of health risk hazards has been found. The Kentucky Energy and Environmental Cabinet is collecting water samples from five different locations three miles downstream. They have to wait until the water goes down before they can safely get out here and remove those other two barges. This will take some time because we want to make sure that we're prioritizing safety for the community and our community that we live in, uh, the workers that are working on this salvage operation, and also the environment. Now, you may remember the barge crash in late 2018 that took months to clean up. Officials say right now it is not looking like it will take that long, but it's really hard for them to say right now how long this cleanup effort will take. The Coast Guard is investigating the cause of this crash, and they have yet to tell us exactly what led up to that. Reporting live with photojournalist Chad Cantliner, I'm Christy Batista, WDRB News.